last week at the herbs market i was at the herbs market and there's this some um, very elderly woman that was preaching she was preaching about the gospel she was preaching about um so i sat down where i was i was concentrating listening to whatever she was saying and at a point i stood up like let me use the word let me go and give offering because i said to myself oh this is beautiful for someone to come to the market and begin to preach about the gospel this is wonderful so i went to her wanted to give an offering you get when i gave her the offering she prayed for me and all that and i turned to leave she said to me come she said she had some small small honey in a container small small um olive oil in a container and she said take this all you need to do is add salt to it and pray to god um asking god to bless you to this speak into the uh, honey and the olive oil i was <laughs> she said just add salt to it and speak and you see what god will do so i did collect it because you know we are into it now <laughs> i didn't collect it but i politely declined i said no ma don't worry you can give it to other persons why because i know about um adding salt in honey what it does i know about um, adding um, salt in olive oil what it does you understand so why am i saying this this is to say these things are beginning to be discovered all over welcome back to our youtube channel welcome back to our youtube channel thank you for stopping by i really do appreciate you please if you haven't subscribed could you please kindly click the subscribe button if you have subscribed gloria cheesy o is saying thank you thank you i appreciate you so We should go on and on and on and on on the spiritual uses of um, salt and other things i think it will take a lot of videos for um, the spiritual uses of salt to be exhausted now i am not putting out this video based on making video no but i am coming back to remake another video to talk about salt because I have used salt severally in several ways and it has worked for me. There is power in that of Christ that calls salt. But let me tell you something. Not every salt can be used for spiritual purpose. There are some salts that are over processed. Some things are added to it and some things are removed. No such salts wouldn't work for whatever spiritual purpose you want to use it for the number one salt you can use for whatever spiritual purpose is the native salt that is a salt in its natural raw form the rock salt is another powerful salt the sea salt the harmonia pink salt these are the salts you can use for spiritual purpose to get um, an effective outcome then if you're in my country Nigeria there's this salt they sell in the market that they measure with some um, container and um, cup and plate and all that that salt is also spiritually powerful by the grace of God now I am here to tell you today that salt can be used to cause someone yes salt can be used to lay a cause on someone how can salt be used to lay a cause on someone no a salt can, that can be used to lay a cause on someone is a salt that someone borrows from you. Yes. You know, when a, maybe a neighbor comes to your house and says, please, can you borrow me salt? This is not saying everyone that comes to one's house to borrow salt, they want to use it to cause the person. But I'm only telling us this to be at a lot. Oh, please borrow me salt. Can I get some salt from you? Please, if you can, just give them Thank God, salt is relatively cheap. You can just give them, oh, can you take this money, go out there and buy salt. You understand? Politely declining. Now, this, 
we have all if you have lived in uh, what we call um in nigeria face me i face you that is in a compound house where the other room is this way your own is this way you understand if you have lived in that such a com i have lived there i grew up there you understand so it's nothing but what i'm trying to say is if you have lived in such a house you will encounter oh please borrow me this we have borrowed in the past like that and it's nothing but sometimes you wouldn't know the heart of a man you know some persons know how to do some things which you don't know and sometimes some things you do out of love can be used against you so now today i'm telling you a salt that is being borrowed from you can be used to cause the person especially probably maybe you're having an issue with the person and all that and the person oh, comes oh please borrow me salt you give the person the salt that same salt you give that person there is a way it can be used against um the giver to cause the person i remember one thing salt is very very spiritually powerful so whatever you do with salt, whatever you do with salt, by the grace of God, tends to work. You understand? On this channel, I have we have talked about how you can use some salt under your tongue to speak. Now, this is not um, what is it called? Commanding? Command me? Or how do they put it? This is not do as i say please don't go and feel oh because you have this works when what you are asking for is yours like when i mean yours you know sometimes there are things that are favor that are ours but because of some negative energy some things that may try to block it now this is the time this works on this channel i have also taught us how you can drop some salt in your cream your body cream uh, specifically the one you rub um, during the daytime before you go out to attract um, blessings, to attract um, favor. On this channel, we have also talked about putting um, salt in your right shoe, in your right shoe on the first day of the month to also attract favor. A lot has been talked about on this channel um, pertaining to salt. Do you also know that you can burn salt? Yes, like adding it to some incense if you're the type that burns some incense you can add some salt to the burning coal to send out um negative um energy negative vibration do you also know that you can use some salt to bless add salt to water yes growing up growing up curiosity when i was a child yes childishness made me did that i am a catholic and most um, Catholic church, before you enter, you will see a um, water, holy water blessed, whereby you put your hand in it and do the sign of the cross. You understand? Curiosity as a child made me, I wanted to know what is so special in this water that everyone is putting their hand. And one day, I observed everyone, no one was looking, and I put my hand, I put it in my mouth just to test. Then I was a child. I wouldn't do that now. <laughs> so when I tasted it, it was tasting and salty. Now what am I trying to say? You can add salt to water for blessing. You can add salt to water to cleanse your home. Do we uh, do we talk about um how powerful a salt bath cleanse is? I have gotten a lot, lot, lot of feedback from persons. I recommended them the use of salt and garlic to stop um meeting in the dream both female and male i got a very positive uh, feedback i have the video on the channel but i can't remember the title which uh, was used i would have linked it with this video so if you are experiencing a spiritual spouse meeting in the dream can you please get me garlic just one or two garlic is okay slice it a little and add it into a bucket of water add some salt to it and often have your bath with it now if you are not even going to be using the garlic often, but endeavor to always drop some salt in your bed water whenever you want to have your bed. By the grace of God, this will put an end to the issue of um, meeting in the dream. Salt is also used for purification. Salt can also be dropped at the entrances of your houses at the main entrance and exit of the home in order to ward off a negative energy. Salt is associated with the 
earth element the element earth is associated um, with salt now can i tell you one simple and very effective way you can prepare a salt to remove them um, for banishing removing a negative energy all you need to do is get your salt either the rock salt and my salt if you're having the rock salt and any other form of salt you can um blend it pound it to get it into powder form then get your rosemary pound it pound and bless them um, sorry blend your rosemary and then get your black pepper pound it also or blend it or whatever mix this rosemary black pepper with your salt and keep this salt for spiritual um purpose for anything basically that has to do with removing for example if you also want to use it for the uh, for having bath to send away spiritual spouse and all that you can use that mixture of salt that you prepare just keep it and be using it for your anything that has to do with removing negative energy and all that now salt is a very very wonderful it's very very powerful spiritually you can also prepare salt with some honey licking it we have made the video on the channel licking it with your middle finger the power of the middle finger licking it every morning before you go out now before you use all these things and they will endeavor to empower them and speak to them how do you empower and speak to and charge these things transferring your energy into them even the salt you prepare with the rosemary and black pepper transfer your energy into them call upon whatever you believe in call upon um, your angel guides call upon your ancestors call upon the good angels that guide you tell them to empower speak put your hand on the salt tell them to empower this salt and make it spiritually powerful spiritually effective that whatever you use it for it will work for you speak use your ways use your language to empower the salt now also salt in a bottle of olive oil is also good you can carry salt with you Put it um, inside of something, tie it, carry it to your handbag, carry, put some salt inside your wallet, it draws some money and all that. If you're the top, the type that often experience some mysterious loss of money in your business place, you realize that, oh, I have made sales of 100,000, for example, but it's looking like I am only seeing 70,000. What is happening? Just drop some salt where you keep your money. You can drop some salt in the, at the edges of your business and premises. The edges of the room, you understand? Drop some salt. The it will attract cells and also remove negative energy. Salt has some spiritual uses in so many ways. Hopefully, we'll make another video on different types of salt and how to use them which to use for what purpose which to use for whichever purpose thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate you it's not another person but gloria cheesy thank you